Good morning, guys. This is going to be the first video of um, our remodel, our restoration. We have a 1967 Fearless Stream canned ham travel trailer. And um, this is our first attempt at doing anything like this. So let me show you around real quick on the exterior, then we'll take a quick tour of the inside. So again, this is a 1967 Field and Stream um, canned ham, as they call them, travel trailer. We got a pretty good price for it. It appears like the the skin itself is in pretty good condition. No one little hole on the, this side over here, which you can't see. We're gonna try to find out the larger dings. The frame is in great condition, just some surface rust. Um, obviously, we're going to repair all the windows, reglaze them. We have the replacement uh, louver glass already that they saved. Uh, the tires are new. Burr. The axles seem to be good, but we're still going to check those, replace them if need be. We're going to repack the bearings. A little damage to the rear bumper, we're going to get that fixed. We already found a website that has uh, uh, replacement uh, tail lights and running lights, license plate lights, everything. So this is going to be our attempt. It's going to be a fun little project. We already own a 34 foot uh, Grand Design travel trailer, but this is going to be more of a project um, close to retirement. So here we go. Let's take a tour of the inside real quick. So the inside is going to be a complete gut job, uh, if you can only imagine. Uh, a lot of water damage. Uh, the water damage is not specifically from the skin issues with the skin. Uh, I mean, here there might be some issues with the windows. Obviously, there's two seams on the roof that we're going to check. But all of this water damage is from the vent. Obviously, that vent's going to be replaced. Uh, we're gonna like I said completely gut the inside and replace everything, but we're not going to change the layout We like the layout and what we're gonna do is we're gonna replicate all the cabinets um, The actual uh, ice box we're gonna keep if not we're gonna try to convert that into the refrigerator But keep the aesthetic value of it as far as the door goes if we can the stove we love uh, we'll probably get that repainted the same color. Um, the sink, obviously, um, looks like they did a modification to it. They put an actual faucet in there aside from the pump. Uh, we're thinking, we're not sure we're going to keep the replace it with a hand pump or an electric pump by sink. That's uh, more to come. Obviously, that's uh, newer. That's not original to the trailer, I don't think. But... Uh, yeah, this is going to be our, our uh, nice little project. It's going to be myself, my son-in-law, Josh. Uh, we're also going to get Chris Pardini involved, my other son-in-law. And my eldest daughter's boyfriend, we call him C2. He's going to be involved. And my best buddy, Bob uh, Butcher. So uh, my biggest hobby is woodworking. So this is going to be a really nice project. And for example, we're going to mark everything exactly what it is in a location for example these panels we're going to take off in one piece we'll use those as a uh, template for the new paneling that we're going to put up same thing with the curved ceiling again we're going to be real methodical how we do this we're not going to just come in here and tear things out and try to figure things out so anyways this is going to be the first video um i'll we'll probably do some time lapses so i don't talk so much so you guys can see the the progress like i said right now we're going to start with uh, labeling measuring then methodically taking even down to this trim we're gonna we're gonna tag so again we make sure that uh, we replicate the interior the way the original trailer was um, if anybody has any comments um, or suggestions or even any history i haven't been able to find too much history on this like i said it's a 1967 field and stream and what they called it a canned ham uh, travel trailer based just on the how small it is so and we even have the original table um, not sure that's salvageable if not we're going to replicate it uh, this is a little dinette with storage underneath and that converts into a bed 
a bunk bed up here that folds up and then this little couch turns into a bed itself as well plus storage anyways if you guys have any uh, information as to any history of the field and stream uh, trailers let me know on, on the comments below All right, guys. So I know originally I told you we're gonna to try to take all the panels off in one piece. Well, I took the one piece out over the door. It's pretty flimsy. It, it's just too much water damage for it to come out in one pieces. So what we decided is that the only thing we're gonna to try to do is salvage anything that has a curve in it to use as a template. Everything else we're just gonna rip out. But any larger components like shells and stuff we'll keep and salvage, but everything else is gonna come out in pieces. More to come. All right, guys, I know I told you guys that we're going to try to take a lot of the stuff out intact. Again, this is our first attempt at renovating one of these little uh, canned ham trailers. And uh, we're finding out really quick, a lot of stuff is glued and uh, nailed.
to the ceiling and the walls, even though they do are screwed in. Um, I did take a lot of pictures and measurements, as you guys probably saw. So we know what the measurements of the original cabinets are. So instead of trying to labor and trying to take these things out in one piece, which we can't, um, I just being careful on how I demo the cabinets. I don't want to damage the outside skin, that is for sure. So I'll take my time taking the rear panel off and uh, it's one by two off. So I don't damage the skin. Like I said, the skin seems to be in really good condition. Um, there is some water damage. And again, that's just from the seals, I think, from the seams. And we're going to take all the trim off on the outside eventually. Completely recock all that and put all new stainless steel screws in there. Uh, because that's how it's going to be eventually painted. But anyways, we continue on. We said I'm being, I'm not being here with a sledgehammer. I'm being very careful as much as I can as to how I demo this stuff. So let's continue the work, guys. Talk to you soon. All right, guys, I took part of the ceiling off. Skin appears to be in really good condition. Uh, this is where that closet was with an ice box. Like I said, I tried to take it out on one piece, but as you can see, it was nailed from the top for the frame down. All this water dam is gonna be replaced. Uh, a lot of the frame looks to be in pretty good condition. I may have to swap out some pieces, but uh, for the most part, we're looking good. I got a question for you guys. The skin is not attached to the frame itself. Any suggestions? Has anybody else ever redone it where they put liquid nails or some type of adhesive to nail the skin to the frame? Let me know in the comments below, please. Okay. Um, this is going to be swapped out, obviously, the electrical panel. That, used, that was a gas line to a gla glass, I mean, I'm sorry, gas lantern. We're not going to put a gas lantern back in. That's too dangerous. But um, anyways, this is the end of demo one, demo day one. Um, hit that subscribe button and alert button so you guys get alerted when I post up the next video. So day number one, day two to come soon. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Take care.